A lot of people have called in and written in and are worried about how you're feeling. How do you feel? I feel fine. I was never sick. I just went in for a good rest. I, just there a few days. Uh-huh. You, I'm sure you are aware of the kind of loyalty your fans have. You have fan clubs dotted all around the landscape around New York. <laughs> and we've been receiving calls all week worrying about you. Oh, how silly. Well, I've been working for two years without let-up, and I thought it might be a good idea to just uh, go into uh, the Presbyterian... Uh, Columbia uh, Presbyterian. Columbia uh -huh. Presbyterian Hospital and get a few days rest and a checkup at the same time. Therefore, I couldn't answer phone calls. It was good for me. You look fine. Honest. You look well rested. I'm, I am. We're uh, in doing this concert again. We're letting a lot of people in on what some 3,145 people witnessed a year ago. What were your feelings? Was was that the first night of the concert engagement? No. You mean the, of the concert tour? Of the tour itself? No. That came actually in uh, rather in the middle mm -hmm. of the of the tour. Uh, I don't remember the exact date we started the tour. I know it was in in uh, February. Was it in February? Yeah, it was in February, mm -hmm. and uh, and this was in April. So uh, it was sort of in the middle of the tour. And and you asked me how I felt. Mm -hmm. Well, I I don't think I've ever had a more uh, a marvelous evening. Uh, for me, I hope the audience uh, uh, felt the same way. I had a, a, a great time, and the uh, response was so gratifying. Was, I had never seen Carnegie Hall. I'd never even been inside of Carnegie Hall. Well, Carnegie Hall has uh, known through the years concert artists, uh, classical artists, violinists, pianists. Mm -hmm. From I wasn't there that night, but from people who were there, they said the love of the audience for you was almost a tangible thing. It was almost something you could feel come out of the audience. Where were you? I, w I wasn't <laughs> there that night because, frankly, I, I couldn't get a ticket. Tickets, as you probably know, were at a premium. I'm just fooling you now. Uh, I, I wonder, can you, as a performer, feel that kind of love when it erupts from an audience? You mean something, as you say, something tangible? Yeah. Something? Well, I don't... I, it sounds rather difficult without sounding egotistical. I do feel uh, love. Yes, they they uh, they show me love. They they you know they demonstrate their love by applause and by saying lovely things to me. And uh, yes, I can feel it. I can feel it. I hope they feel the love that I have for them. Is there, do you notice a difference in cities? Are there any cities that are tougher to get audience response from than others? Uh, this last concert tour was, uh, I don't know why, because I've done tours before and I've been on the stage before, but this uh, somehow chemically, or whether it was the programming of the songs or uh, the timing, whatever, it created uh, a lot of, of, of excitement wherever uh, we went. How you know some audiences naturally were a little slower getting started, and you had to work a little harder. But they all wound up uh, quite successfully. I think the rapport that exists between you as a performer and an audience is something to behold. I, I know of no one else who has. Who first dubbed you, Michelle Business? Do you know, Judy? By golly, I can't. Remember. I think it was um, Alan Livingston with Capitol Records. Uh huh. Yeah. Incidentally, speaking of Capitol Records, the concert is on Capitol Records and uh, has sold as well as any album this size has ever sold, I think. It's a great tribute to you, I think, as a performer and also to the recording technique. I think they have captured all of the excitement that was there that night. Yes, in this album. it was quite extraordinary that they could do that, you know, because under the uh, conditions uh, at being in the theater and actually giving a performance and not I as a matter of fact forgot that they were recording uh, I was too mm -hmm. uh, caught up with the with the evening and the excitement and probably if I had remembered we were recording it wouldn't have been any good I'd have been so busy you know, with my pear-shaped tones that don't come out well at all but uh, um, I think they did a, a marvelous uh, job technically. 
You've taken that concert tour practically all around the world. Well, we've we've gone lots of places with it. We've it started in England, and we played many times in England. Then we took it to France, and then Holland, and uh, uh, let me see. Then I came back uh, uh, to America, and we we played forty two cities. I would be remiss, as far as your fans are concerned, and gosh, they're in the, the hundreds of thousands in this area, <laughs> if I didn't determine from you whether you're going to work in New York or the environs in the near future, in concert or whatever. Well, I've got to go and do a movie first in London. I'm leaving in a few days. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm making another album, though, Thursday night. This before, Thursday? Yes, before I go for capital, and then I'm off to London, I imagine I'll be there three or four months. It takes that time to make a picture. You've just completed a film out in the coast, yeah, too. Yeah, and um, uh, that was for, that was a, a straight non-singing uh, part, you know. You mentioned the name Roger Eden earlier, Judy. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Uh, is my intelligence correct? Didn't you do your original audition for Roger Eden? Or wasn't he in on your original audition at MGM? At MGM, yes. Mm -hmm. And you did uh, Zing with the strings? Well, I didn't audition for him. He he was, at the time, a uh, uh, just a, a pianist. He uh -huh. had been Ethel Merman's uh, a, a company? A company uh -huh. here in, in New York. And then he came out to Metro, and nobody paid much attention to him. And he got sort of dragged in to hear this little girl uh, many years ago need I say sing <laughs> and uh, uh, he accompanied me uh, because my mother you see who used to accompany me uh, was ill and couldn't be there so he came in and accompanied me. I was about 12 and from then on he uh, we've been working together was was the tune saying with the strings of my heart yeah. Judy you mentioned earlier going to England to do another movie it seems you have conquered just about uh, every field of communication available. Do you have any frustrations as a performer, anything you'd like to do that you haven't done? Well, uh, I have, I've never done a, a, um, a play mm -hmm. on Broadway. And I thought of that. Um, I don't know really whether I'm, I'm geared for that uh, every night thing. I think I would like it, though, if it... Uh, if it had good music and a good story, it's uh, um, it's rather tempting. That's the only thing I haven't done. I finally conquered my uh, <laughs> my fear of television, and I do yes. adore television. Now. The spec you did recently with uh, Frank and Dean was just great. Did you like it? Yes, Norman Jewison. Yes, he's terribly good, by the way. He's just marvelous. Speaking about talented people who surround you. The young man who conducts for you, Mort Lindsay. Yes. I'm a big fan of Mort's. I've known him for a long time, and uh, he does wondrous things, I think, for you. Oh, he's marvelous. He's just marvelous. And we got him uh, sort of on a, uh, a fluke, actually. Because, that? Well, when I came from London, I was supposed to work, uh, do a concert at the... Uh, um, in the, at one of the hotels in the Catskills, and and the conductor came down to New York to um, rehearse mm -hmm. uh, my music. And the music is quite difficult to play, you know, with Nelson Riddle and, and millions of uh, high trumpet notes and bongos and all that. And uh, he just uh, uh, said that he didn't think that he could, that he wanted to take the responsibility. So I forget whether it was David Beekman or Freddie Fears. Uh, picked up the phone and and uh, and uh, found uh, called Mort Lindsay. Luckily, he was home, and uh, he, had, I think, was about to take a year off, wasn't he? Just to write music. He wasn't going to conduct anymore. He wanted mm -hmm. to write. So we finagled him to come to the <laughs> rehearsal, and he he rehearsed the whole show uh, with the band. I don't think it took any longer than two hours. And we did the concert. We've been... Uh, he's been with you ever since. Yes, I, th I think he's absolutely marvelous. Concert started, I guess, about 8.30 that night, didn't it? 
I think it started at 8.45. 8.45. You had a lot of notables in the audience. Uh, among them, old Rock Hudson and yeah. Dory Sherry, a lot of visiting celebrities, and of course, people who, who just love you. I wonder, Judy, in watching an audience react to you, have you figured out, or do you take the time to figure out, or should you figure out, why you communicate so well with them, and let's say some other performer might not? Have you figured out what it is? No, I haven't a clue. I don't know uh, what it is. Maybe, uh, well, it, it might be that uh, I, I feel uh, a genuine affection and love for people who, you know, pay money to come and sit mm -hmm. and watch uh, me sing. Uh, I, th I have great respect, and I also uh, uh, believe in uh, never cheating an audience. I, uh, because they, they, you know, have been They've spent kind their enough. Not yet. Mm -hmm. So it might be that. I, 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 otherwise, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. Um, all I know is it's very nice to <laughs> but Speaking people. about uh, that kind of thing, as far as performers are concerned, do you see any performers around today whom you particularly like, uh, you know, newcomers coming up? Uh, as far as singing is concerned, for example, if you were uh, locked in a room and had to listen to some albums, what albums would you choose? What, what singers? What performers? Well, uh, the, I love... Uh, uh, I think there are a lot of good singers, really. Mm -hmm. Very good singers. Uh, uh, they're not uh, newcomers. I, I'm too old now to know about all the newcomers, but, but um, I'm sure some of them are are marvelous. I just haven't heard them. But I do think um, Tony Bennett is mm -hmm. marvelous. Of course, Frank Sinatra. I, may, uh, may I interrupt you for a second? You say, yeah. of course, Frank Sinatra. Any singer you talk to says, of course, Judy Garland, and of course, Frank Sinatra. Now, let me ask you, as far as Sinatra is concerned, what is it, the way he feels a lyric? I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer you any more than you, uh -huh. you know, than I could... When you ask, I figured uh, I could uh, kind of trap you there. And get <laughs> I, I, as I say, I, I wonder sometimes because singers say that, that almost inevitably you ask 100 singers, 99 of them will say, of course, Judy, and of course, Frank. And I wondered in, in looking at Frank's work, uh, what it is, whether it's, it's his lyric interpretation. Well, I think it's his lyric interpretation and his uh, quality of his voice and, and also... He does cast an almost hypnotic uh, spell, you know. He really does. You just don't look away when he's entertaining or singing. You just uh, listen to what he has to say. I think Peggy Lee is a is a marvelous singer. I like the girl named Kay Starr. I think she's a wonderful, wonderful singer. Many, many fine uh, singers. I wonder, talking about singers of today, now, the kind of background that a singer like you has had in working vaudeville, movies, television, I don't know that the singer of today can get that kind of background. The singer today, a youngster, can get a hit record and suddenly be put on a television show and have 40 million people mm -hmm. sit and watch in yeah, judgment. Yeah, that's, that's original. kind of, of, uh, of rough on them, I think, because I came from vaudeville uh, originally, and then went in the movies and uh, was lucky enough to have had that kind of background and therefore uh, learn by uh, uh, trial and error, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, how, to, how to entertain, how to sing, so forth. Uh, uh, it's rather uh, a, a rough go on, on young people kids now because they're they don't have a basic training so quickly. Yeah. yes but uh, if they're good uh, they'll last I have a theory that uh, basic good talent is not uh, unfounded somebody always fi finds uh, a person young person or whoever if they're really talented they'll be found They'll find, they'll find a way to be found.